Get out YouTube, so it's not when I have a look inside this little uh, lithium ion jump starter pack. One of my mates gave it to me to pull apart and have a play with, it's dead. Uh, I managed to charge it up, I actually found that he was uh, one of the boys or him had uh, connected a 12 volt charger to the um, lead because it must have got caught in a car door or something, I don't know. Got damaged either, either way. One of the buttons was broken off, which is like a mode button. But so uh, I discovered that it was only getting 12 volts in one amp, and it's meant to get 15 in one amp. So I'm going to say that it's a 3 or 4S lithium battery. So you've got a port there for the jump start. The one of the pins there, which would be the one with the square, so the positive one looks all burnt and carried on. Uh, has a USB output. A little switch which lights up the voltmeter and uh, has an output so you can charge laptops and things like that. I actually need to get one of these, uh, I haven't done so yet. I might hit up Banggood or somewhere like there and buy myself one. But um, yeah, let's have a look inside. So I absolutely mutilated it to get into it. That doesn't matter. Let's have a look what we got going on in here. So it appears there's two positives and two negatives there, and then there's a positive and negative straight off the battery. It's a little LED chip in the front there. I've got a good use for that. Um, Christios, the uh, the fella from uh, Bergduino.com, sent me a wicked little board. It's called a Jewel Thief, I think, and. Uh, it's like a uh, LED driver. Cool, so we've got an LED for that now. Always harvest the bloody spare bits. No point wasting them. Okay. Let's see if we can ID what's going on with the battery. As you can see, the board's got four lights on, so it must mean fully charged. We'll be a little bit careful because we really don't want to arc out a stainless steel ring, for instance, across the... Uh, Terminal block down the bottom there. Let's see if we can get him out. Here we go. You'd assume it would have to be relatively well stuck in there. Because these would get dropped and stuff like that, like protecting this battery. Would be by far the uh, important part of his job. So, as for the rest of the circuitry, there's bugger all in it. Like, there's really, it's not really double sided, there's only a few components on the back side. Choke, output, a couple of capacitors. So there's going to be a charging circuit, there's going to be a balancing circuit, USB power, a little module that's uh, smart enough to change it through a few different modes, voltage output, LED driver. It's yeah, bolt gauge. Oh, that's the brand. SJS SC06 jump starter pack. Starting current 300 amps, peak current 600 amps for up to 3 seconds. Cycle life up to 2000 cycles, obviously not at 600 amps. 16,500 milliamp hour. Just 3M super sticky there. Heck, oh, okay. We've got a board up top here. Let me get something sharp and we'll get into a... Alright, so I got it out. I've broken a pair of wires untaping it, but there's a pair of wires there. And what looks to be a little BMS board. There's a power incoming there, there's a balanced outgoing there, and these two are on the board as well. So I'm going to say that it's just a 3S, so negative, positive 1, positive 2, positive 3, 1, 2, 3 themselves. So it looks very much like a uh, 3S battery bank. We can confirm that with the simple use of a multimeter. 
never set up for these highly organized videos. Oh, it was on. I was using it as a clamp meter over the other side of the room. All right. What do you reckon we got? Twelve point three. It's a three S battery. Just like that. Three S lipo brick. Would it be sixteen amp hours? Nah. It might be four H. That's a four amp two S lipo. No, it could be sixteen amps. Just say they're eight amps. Yeah, no, it still wouldn't get. LPB90501 35WT QR code on it though, I might see if that'll scan Quite possibly won't, but Got some beefy terms on there That being said, like This LiPo pack is rated for 15 times C, so 15 times it's C rating, which is 4000 so 15 times 4. That's a hell of a current discharge on a big burst. That, that's what these light, but lithium polymer batteries are for. They're for, you know, that's out of an RC car. So, not a surprise that they can handle big bursts. We might redo the board up top uh, and see if it is a BMS. And if it is, it actually does some managing. We may even just use it as a power bank or similar with, um, just put an XT60 on it instead. Well, that being said, it still has the ability of jump starting. Like this. So we've got something on a board in here. I wonder what that is. Let's plug these leads in, see if we actually got any power in these leads. Lay that down real gentle so we don't short it on anything. Busy, busy desk to be doing it on, but... doesn't keep outputting. Okay, now we need to know what witchcraft's in there. Because clearly that's holding it from just straight discharging. Because we get the voltage we want, but we don't get any arky sparky. BMS isn't controlling it. There's nothing else on the back of that board of relevance. Okay. What we need to do is uh, I'll pull that apart another day. Once I've got it open and had a good look inside, we'll see what it actually does. And uh, see if we can't get it working again. This is a bare battery. And uh, make a jump starter out of it. So that's what's inside average Chinesium. SJS jump starter pack. This is rated as probably one of the more medium duty Chinese ones. 600 amp peak. There you go. Thanks for watching. Subscribe button to the automotive channels over there. Big things coming that way. More videos up here. Subscribe button to the main channel. It's up the top here or always in the bottom right hand corner. Thanks for watching. Catch you on the next vid. Cheers guys.